Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to a brand new episode here on the channel. Now, episode, episode before this, obviously I am recording these in bulk. I will repeat everything that I did say, but I'm recording these episodes in bulk now because I am going away. So I'm trying to get like a few weeks ahead. Um, so, you know, you'll probably notice and the first one didn't go to plan. The episode was completely mute for whatever reason. I checked it at the start of the episode because I can see the little bars moving along when I say speak. But for whatever reason, threw it into the editing software. Zero audio for me whatsoever. So it's quite the uh, peculiar episode. I do sincerely apologize. But these things happen. Fortunately enough, it's whatever. I just whatever one of them things, isn't it? I can't really do anything about it. But. If you did watch the episode, I appreciate it. Bit of a bizarre episode. It's more of a watch along than actually listen, but it is what it is. But welcome back. Hope you guys enjoy the, uh, the silence of last episode then, I guess. Um, but we are back and we're going to be taking on the Kelpo City Gym. Um, it wasn't as easy as going back and re-recording it because this game has the save feature that does that which I do at the beginning and end and sometimes in the middle of every episode. So I couldn't go back to anywhere significant to actually play through it again. But yeah, it's one of those things. If this was on an emulator, like an actual emulator and not its own like standalone client, I'd be able to go back and probably refilm it, but unable to do so. So that is uh, one, uh, one little issue, um, but it is what it is. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to continue onwards with our adventure, which today is, in fact, the gym, funnily enough, which I think, if I remember correctly, did I, I didn't do any healing. Let's go do the heals real quick. Let's go and do the heals really, really quickly. And get ourselves nice and prepared for Anastasia. Now, Anastasia is the electric and steel gym leader. I'm going to assume none of these trainers actually have electric or steel types. As to be expected, because, you know, randomizer, which is fine. Um, but yeah. Froki. I was actually hoping for the grass froaky here so I could just body it real quick, but it is what it is. It is what it is. But yeah, we'll get through this gym and then we'll continue onwards. Now, we didn't miss much, if I'm going to be honest, in the last episode. We did fight uh, Anastasia, not Anastasia, Anastasia 2 we're fighting right now. Uh, we fought our, can I just like literally dodge like half of these trainers? I feel like I can. This one I have to fight, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, we fought Audrey. We disbanded the Abyssal Cult. Um, this is for obviously the people that didn't listen along. Um, it was a bit of a bizarre episode. That's going to hurt. Can't stay in. Um, but yeah, we disbanded the Cult of the Abyssal Cult. Uh, Damien was shown to have taken over. Uh, by Malday and the Pokey virus, which is pretty much Deoxys, uh, which is another bizarre um, turn of events. And that Audrey was Damien's mother. A lot of things that came out, story-wise. Um, but yeah, it, it's one of those things. It's one of those things. But there, that's the TLDR for on everything. But yeah, we're just going to body our way through this gym. Yenzo could probably actually sweep the gym on its own. Yeah, here we go. Well, 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 would you look at you. The hero who single-handedly shut down the Abyssal Cult. I have to admit that was very impressive. Uh, I have my thanks on my half of everyone in town. Lugia flew off after Audrey disappeared. The storm faded and cleared the streets of all the water. Everything looks like it was going to be all right. But let's not keep you waiting any longer. You came for a gym battle, right? Allow me to introduce myself officially. My name is Anastasia. I am the gym leader of Kelpert City. 
The theme of the gym is machinery, as such specialised in steel and electric type Pokemon. I'm pretty excited for this battle. I mean, it's not every day you beat someone who dismantled a cult. She thinks she's gonna win. She thinks it's gonna win. My Pokemon work together like a machine. A, a gear and a machine. A cog. You might be an Audra Randoran, but uh, there's far a day against me. So you say, look at her outfit design. It's so cool. So we're starting out with a Delta Gudra. <clears throat> which I do believe is... Is it ground... Is it ground and... We're not going to Mega Evolve yet. I'm just going to leave some. Yeah. Ground and water. Which makes perfect sense. Um, Skip Loom. Skip Loom, really weak. Not exactly the uh, bestest of Pokemon. Let's go out into... I guess it's just Yenzo. Nothing really to counteract this. Skip Loom. So I'm going to Mega Evolve here and I'm going to just start setting up some Calm Minds against this Skip Loom. It is only a Skip Loom. So there is the first one. I outspeed, so I'm going to do it again. There's the bounce. And then we're going to go for a Moonblast. And that's going to give us the Herbrus boost. So that's going to give us plus three special defense, uh, special attack even. There's level six. We're nearly 69. Nearly at the meme. It floats with a balloon. Not like it matters. I popped the balloon. That's plus four. A Carablast. What is that? It's horrifying. <laughs> There's plus five. A Rayquaza. Would you look at you? You wasn't joking. Tell a Rayquaza. I'm glad I set up. Air Slash. Ooh. I'm glad I set up. Because that, that could have been really bad. That could have wiped us. Yikes. That was scary, actually. If Yenzo had died there, I don't think we would have won. Against the Delta... Uh, uh, well... Mega Rayquaza. But anyways. Awesome. No, seriously, that was an awesome battle. Here is a circuit badge and the TM for Darude Sandstorm. Thunderbolt is not Thunderbolt. <laughs> In my workshop if you need me. And she's gone. Very well. We did it. We defeated Anastasia of this gym. All in a day's work, if you ask me. Um. Oh, what is this weird place to put a workshop? Of course it's a weird place to put a workshop. And that's kind of the point. I'm so glad we set up. That was so not good if that would have killed us, but it is what it is. Let's go, uh, what's going on in the workshop? The hidden workshop. All right, Tane. Your commission is done. Wait, she's working with Tane? I'm wiping my hands of it. I don't want to be involved in this creepy cult stuff anymore. One million pokey dollars has been wired to your bank account as agreed. She just got paid a mill. A swift mill. That was our end. Now show me the suit I paid for. Very well. What the frickles is that? The arm has been made exactly to your specification specifications. It increased the defense stats of a Pokemon that wears it. I did a bit of research. Only Pokemon that fits your measurements is, well, Zekrom. Harmony told me that you uh, you had Curium uh, back in Sunset City Gym. Did you honestly expect me to believe that you have Zekrom too? I don't really care if you do believe. The truth is the truth. Great work. The armor looks sturdy and functional. Oh my lordy. Incredible. I've heard stories about Zekrom, but never thought I'd see it myself. I was that you caught two legendary Pokemon. Most people have never seen one in their lifetimes. Master Balls. Lots and lots of Master Balls. I don't even caught it. Uh, don't even coax or convince them to join us. 
Have you seen the other, uh, how the other cults cooperate? They just ask them to join. No wonder they never succeed. Common sense, come on. A strong Pokeball is so much more effective than messing around. Anyway, it seems to fit fine. Do you have any other? Uh, do you have any of the other arms we commissioned? I yes. Anastasia, hey. Our, it's it's Onion Boy. Orion, Brandon, what on earth is going on here? How did you get in? We just walked through the door. It was not guarded or anything. Oh, why are you here though? You shouldn't be managing your gym. I came here because a friend told me, and there. Your friend, you mean Reshiram, right? You again! Stay away from me and my pal! Don't know what you want, but you'll never get your hands on them! It really is adorable, how brave kids are. I appreciate you coming, though. This saves me the trouble of finding Reshiram myself. Behold, child, the titan of Unova. Zekrom, the dragon of ideals. Now bound in protective armor. It's stronger and tougher than ever before. As if it didn't need to be any stronger than it already is. It's still a legendary. It's a perfect fusion of both Pokemon and machine. Zekrom joined you. Why would it have chosen the forces of something like you? It didn't. I caught it. It's very easy to get a Pokemon to obey you once you've tamed it. You're a monster! And then, why don't you try and stop me? How about it? A double or nothing battle between the two of us. Why are you fight Anastic excuse me? A duel between dragons. Oh, those two. Sure, those can fight. Winner takes it all. Unless, of course, you don't care uh, unless you don't care what happens to Zekrom. I do care, but you have a suit of armor. This isn't fair at all. I guess not. What a disappointment. I'll be on my way then. No, I'll do it. Rush around, come out. Oh dear boy. I don't know what the earth is your problem is, but gosh darn if I'm going to let you walk over me too. Oh boy, this isn't going to go very well. Did you really just say that? Very well, Zekrom. Crush this worm. Reshiram, attack! Boom, boom. We're, we're not doing any damage at all. Zekrom is... Zekrom is getting bored. Finish it. No, Reshiram, are you alright? And the victor goes the spoil. It looks like the armoured legendary Pokemon is able to take out a less armoured one. It kind of would make freaking sense, wouldn't it? That's pretty indicative of the power of these armors, if you ask me. Want to test that theory, Brandon? Do you think you can be the perfect, uh, the perfect, perfect cult of science and myth? Sure. I suppose we're doing it. Perfection cultist Tain. Man's got a plusle. Puny. Puny child. He's a psychic. It's a, it's a, wait, that was super effective. That was poison. Volcanion. Of course. We're doing it again, are we? Just in case. Yenzo, let's get this victory. Let's get this victory. Let's set up that special defense. This thing's... Okay, it's using physical attacks. I'm not sure why it's a Volcanion. Uh, but sure. Now we Moonblast. It's going to take two. That Volcanion I thought was going to be a lot scarier than it is, but I suppose it's just a Volcanion, I guess. It's just a Volcanion. There's the funny number! 69 and I can psychic this super effective because you is poison type very nice very nice very nice uh, a cast form yeah you can just get off the, you just get off the screen real quickly you can just get off the screen a Fero! Fero! oh wow you outsped very nice and that is plus six. Now, this is scary. I should have healed, actually. Delta Mega... Oh. Look at the... Oh, never mind, I bodied. Delta Mega Milotic. That's pretty sick. The armor seems to still have a few glitches left to fix. It shows potential, but it's definitely not complete yet. Orion, is it? 
You want to rest your own back. You have to visit the Dragon Runes near Selena City. That's where I'll be. Humanity and Pokemon are two sides of the same coin. Each can do unique things the other cannot hope to try. If you want to like to combine the talents of people and Pokemon, perfection, perfection it could be achieved. Okay, I'm sorry, but what? Well, no case. It's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. Selena City. Anastasia, aren't the runes near Selena City the ones that are totally off limits? You're not seriously considering. I have to, Anastasia. I need to get Reshiram. It's my friend before I even know it was a Pokemon. Yeah, you're just friends with a rock. Support me even if the entire city was against me. You're dead wrong if you think I'm abandoning it. Well, today was eventful. Listen, Brandon, don't judge me about the armor thing. Yeah, sure, you just paid a mill for a prototype armor thing that I bodied in a moment. Ah, it's a whirling fan. So she has the ability to turn the Rotoms into whatever it is we want. Iron Head is a really cool move. Um, let's have a seat. See, I kind of like having Brick Break because High Jump Kick always misses. This is a really nice move set. Yeah, we'll leave it. What else can you teach me? Can we get any of these other good juicy TMs? Magnet Rise, Meteor Mash. Now that's that cannon. I wanted to see if anyone can learn Meteor Mash. Probably not. Oh, of course Whitney can learn it. <laughs> not like it matters, because you're not... Let's get rid of Wake Up Slap. Why not? Meteor Mash. Sure. She has a console too, just like the one the other guys have. Mm. Interesting! Right. So, I guess now we're heading northbound. For Selena City and the Ruins. Which should be pretty interesting. Let's go see what Route 11 has for us. Which is further up, actually. Is that this way? Where was it? Oh, no, it was on the uh, left-hand side, wasn't it? Yes, it was. The left-hand side. Right, so Route 11. We do have an encounter here, which we can, in fact, get. Oh, it looks like... Let's get our encounter here first. It's a tentacle. I really do not care enough for a tentacle. Yeah, I killed it anyway. I don't. I really don't care enough for a tentacle. Let's be real. But now we have to dive. We have to scuba dive upwards. Is this the lift patch? It is. Can't quite see it then. Okay, so what have we got going on in this route? So there's a lot of trainers, which I just blazed all the way through. Hold the phone. Let's go back. Let's fight one of them. <laughs> just blaze through the entire route. Spewper! Should be easy enough to take out. Boom. Grottle. Oh, it's this grottle. Oh! The Defreeze, I'll take it. That that line, the Delta version of that line is actually pretty nice. I have to say. Is there anything over here? Is there any grottos? It's been a while since we've seen a grotto. Hmm. No. I thought there might have been one, but there isn't. There's a Leafeon that was being spoke about in the previous episode. But you wouldn't have heard me. So, it's fine. Freaking Magmar or two. Just... Holy... Holy... What is this root? This root just has power. Uh, Nazca Town. Is it Dom fan? Well, I guess we're having a look at Nazca Town real quickly. Nazca. We're like, nah, the, the Nazca Town.
Three, two, one. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that little interruption. Let's have a look at Nazca Town really quickly. Right, wait. Sure, you sell... Uh, that's bizarre. I have apricot trees just chilling in these. It's pretty cool. Oh, wait. What happened there? Wait, there's a thingy of him at here too? This is like the most smallest. Don't fan. I'm guarding the plants from Pokemon like Bunnelby and Jamega. Sure, this is like the smallest town I've ever been in. Why does it... I'm confused. It keeps doing it as if I'm changing like areas. What's this? Oh, well, it's an encounter. It's a fort. I really don't care. Is this, like, the way forward or something? Or is this not the way forward? I don't know. I'm just going to check out the town first. I'm just going to continue to check out Nazca Town. Oh. The Swallow. Bulbasaur. Charmander. Squirrel! Hey listen, do you think you're gonna do me a favour? I lost an item in the safari zone near the rock. Could you get it back for me? I suppose we could. Not like it's, you know, on my priority of things to do. Oh, well, there's our funny number 69 crystal. Okay, this thing's gonna actually do more damage to itself than it does to me, so... I'm just gonna, yeah. Let's just heap some balls. Nearly. Let's see if it does one more flail. One more flail, I think it'll be alright. There we go. Crustle has been acquired. Uh, level 68 for you, and Crustle has been added to the dext. I'm going to call you Hermit, because Hermit Crab, almost. So he wants something from the Safari Zone. A Wackenberry. Do, 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 do. So I suppose it wants us to go into the Safari Zone. I don't like the Safari Zone, because every time you go in there, you never catch anything. Super outgoing as a trainer. Are you a trainer? Mummy says I'll be like you one day. Really? Oh, sure. Whatever, child. The northern part of Torrent is always less people. You make less friends. Oh, move south of Torrent then. If you want to make some friends, I'll go on a battle. Go on, uh, go on a battle, go on an adventure, go on a trip. A legendary Pokemon in there. Oh, what are you trying to say? There's a legendary Pokemon in there. Wait, elemental hyper, excuse. Specializing move, so ele element, fr oh. oh, makes more sense now. Well, you can learn Frenzy Plant, so I might just give it you because your, your moves are booty cheeks anyway. So sure, you can have Frenzy Plant. It's the only starter I have, and it's only the... Um... That was bizarre. Are you alright? Don't panic. I'm only here to talk. You've been something of a legend back in the... Uh, back... you become something of a legend back in the Darkrai cult. Persephone placed a huge bounty on your head, and now everyone's trying to find you. I'm not interested in all of that. Remember when you escaped the base when Darkrai was summoned? Uh, I was the cultist who stood within the circle. Oh, you were sacrificed. Turns out that Darkrai doesn't want ritual sacrifices and evil done in its name. Most legendaries don't. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if Rayquaza rescued East somehow. Persephone, 
and Darkrai's goals are completely different. She doesn't want uh, world dominion or control or just wants revenge and needs to stop her from getting it. Soon she'll find a way to control it. If you let, uh, if you let her, another legendary will be enslaved. Not only that, but you and that green-haired girl have your own reasons for saving it. Uh, it may have the secret of curing Audrey's son. I apologize for taking your time. Believe me, it's not you or Darkrai who might share a common goal. Have a nice day. That wasn't spookily ominous at all. Praise the Arga. Ew, stop praising the Arga. We don't praise him anymore. Really? More Pokemon could do that. Ooh. An Earth Plate. Moo Moo Milks. A flying gem. Can we have some apricorns? I guess not. Now, is this... Welcome to the Safari Zone. Right, well, I'm going to do the Safari Zone in the next episode. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like button down below. But for now, have a wonderful and safe day. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Bye for now.